Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Chemical Guys Detail Garage. Today, we have a 2016 Honda Fit in the shop. And today, in this video, we'll be showing you guys how to make your car look new again by cleaning it up, making it look fresh, just so you can remember how you got it off the showroom. Anyways, guys, let's get started. As you guys can see, this Honda Fit has seen better days from wear and tear over the years of time that this car has been on the road, on the highway, it has seen better days. Of course, it does have curb rash on these wheels. So why are we starting off on the wheels? The reason why we wanna start off on the wheels is because this is actually the most dirty part of the car because it has a lot of tons of brake dust, grime, debris, and much more to see on the face of the wheel as well as the barrel and even the tire. So over time, the tires start turning brown, the wheels get tons of brake dust, grime, debris, and the wheels start turning brown as well because the brake dust is just etching itself into the wheel. So if you guys look closely, all of that is just dirt and grime and brake dust. So what ends up happening, you brake constantly on the highway, on the streets, and then now this is what you get. And then over time, you also go on the highway and you pick up dirt, grime, debris, and then your tires start looking dull over time. So by cleaning them up, dressing them up, that's going to be step number one. Step number two is going to be getting to the wash, and step number three is going to be rejuvenating the plastics around the whole entire car. Like this, we make this Honda Fit look new again. Anyways, guys, I have an assortment of brushes right here. I have the Boris Hair Detailing Brush, so I'll sink this in. And before I forget, I already have a dirt trap at the bottom sitting on my red bucket. In this video, I'll be using three different color buckets, just like this, I avoid cross-contamination. And like this, I look professional, especially if you are detailing out there in the market. Always look professional, avoid cross-contamination like this. Your customers come back, your customers know someone professional is taking care of it. Anyways guys, let's get right into it. So the board shirt detailing brush is already floating inside my bucket. I also have my wheel brush. The wheelie wheel brush has flag tip bristles on it. That's going to be tough enough uh, to remove brake dust, but very gentle on the wheel. To clean up the tire, I have the big blue stiffy. And then to clean up the barrel of the wheel, I actually have my easy reach brush. So this easy reach brush has a rubber seal up top. It's bendable, flexible, and the nylon bristles are super soft and plush. So I'll sink these in. And then the choice of wheel cleaner today I'll be using is going to be Signature Series Wheel Cleaner. Signature Series Wheel Cleaner can be used on all types of wheels except matte. So like this, you have glossy, aluminum, anodized, chrome. You clean them fast and easy using Signature Series Wheel Cleaner. If you do have matte wheels out there on the market, we also recommend using Diablo Wheel Gel, which will be the link down below. Diablo Wheel Gel is a peach balance gel that can be used on all types of wheels. I like to use it as a maintenance, but since this car never gets clean, I needed something more tougher. So that's why I went with Signature Series Wheel Cleaner. Anyways, guys, I'll remove the sprayer top, just like we diluted into my bucket, just like I have extra cleaning power. And then, as you guys can see, I am sitting on the soft stool. The soft stool is a detailing stool that can be used to detail on your tire car. Like this, you keep your arsenal close. You keep your bucket up front. You have uh, arsenal back here. It also has a little cubby back here. But in this occasion, we're just cleaning wheels. So I just set it up with my wheel stuff. Anyways, guys, let's get right into it. So first things first, before you start scrubbing, before you start spraying your wheel cleaner, always rinse on the face of the wheel just so you can knock off any loose and debris. And before anything, this curb rash unfortunately can't come out, so I'm just cleaning everything around it. I will clean over it, but just keep this in mind. Curb rash does not come out. That is permanent damage. So now that I sprayed the face of the wheel, you guys might say the wheel is now clean because it's wet. So let's just do the real test. I'll get some. There's still dirt and grime sitting on there. So the rinse part just did a very minor breakdown of any dirt or grime or debris that was loose on the face of the wheel. But anyways, to get into the deeper cleaner, this is why we always recommend using assortment of brushes, a premium car clean uh, product, so you can remove everything from the face of the wheel as well as the tire. So I'll activate my suds by adding pressure. And then I'll get my signature series wheel cleaner and I'll spray it all over my wheel, including the tire. Just how to ensure the citrus based cleaner starts breaking down the dirt, grime, debris that the Honda Fit has been through. And then we're gonna do FBD, face, barrel, details. To start off with the face, we're gonna use our wheel brush, which is right here, which is the gray one. We'll start off cleaning off the face. Just by cleaning up the face, we're gonna ensure we remove dirt, grime, debris. And as you guys can see, I constantly come back to my wheel bucket, just so I can get more suds, more lubrication. And like this, I do not harm the face of the wheel, nor scratch it. So we got the face of the wheel. Now it's the time to get into a barrel, which is going to be using the easy reach brush. Get in the back. Like this, I get the barrel. And over time, the barrel does not get super contaminated to a point where Whenever you clean it, it doesn't no longer cleans up. It just looks dull or brown. So by using the easy reach detailing brush, 
it's going to allow you to clean tight crevices, cracks, as well as you could use it on grills, you could use it on exhaust tips. Like this, you get a true clean, and like this, you get into the details by using the easy reach detailing brush. So just come back, get the spokes, come back into your wash bucket, get more suds, and go back to scrubbing. If your suds do run out, simple, just add more pressure and reactivate them. Get more suds, come back, scrub it. And you guys can see how tight these crevices are on this Honda Fit. I mean, they're small wheels, but we gotta keep them clean. So by using the easy reach detailing brush, it's going to allow me to clean the barrel of the wheel and get a true clean instead of getting the face, the tire, and avoiding the barrel. So now that we did the face, we did the barrel, it's time to get into the details. And the details are going to be with the board chair detailing brush. By the details, I mean getting into the lug nuts, getting into the valve stem, getting into the tight cracks and crevices where uh, the bigger brush unfortunately couldn't get into. Like this, you achieve a true clean and you avoid missing spots. And like this, whenever you rinse it down, you inspect and you make sure you have a true clean on your face wheel. So just a quick recap, the Signature Series wheel cleaner can be used on all types of wheels except matte wheels. Like this, if you have tons of brake dust, if you drive a BMW, you have aggressive brake pads, use Signature Series wheel cleaner or even Decon to remove iron deposits. Um, Decon iron remover on this wheel, it wasn't necessary because it doesn't have aggressive brake pads. But if you do have a high performance brake pads that produces tons of dirt, grime, and brake dust, you could use Decon, so you can remove iron deposits. So we got the face, we got the barrel, we got the details. Now it's just to get the tires. I like to respray my Signature Series wheel cleaner back onto my tires one more time, just like to ensure uh, whenever I get my big blue stiffy brush, it's going to foam up. It's going to remove all previous dressings, grime and debris, and I just have a true clean tire. So I reactivated my suds, come back to the surface, and I'll just scrub it. And you guys can see that the foam actually turns brown. That is because all the dirt and grime debris is coming away from the tire. It's going to give me a true clean tire. All right, so we cleaned the face, we cleaned the barrel, we cleaned the tires. Now let's rinse it off and let's see the results. There it is guys, check out that big before and after. The wheel's clean, the tire's clean. Now it's time for me to do the rest of these wheels. And once I'm done with the rest of these wheels, I'll meet you guys back at the two bucket method. We will foam it up and we'll bring it back to its glory. Anyways guys, let's get right into it. All right guys, so we just finished up with the wheels and the wheels look fantastic. We didn't dress the tires yet because unfortunately we are going to be dealing with water and I don't want to wash it off. So anyways guys, like I told you guys before, I am using different colored buckets. Like this, I look more professional. Like this, I keep cross-contamination away from the vehicle. The vehicle has tough grime, tough debris on it, but now I have a black bucket and a clear bucket. So this black bucket and clear bucket is going to distinguish which one's going to be my wash bucket and which one's going to be my rinse bucket. Like this, I avoid cross-contamination, even though this color is light and doesn't show any scratches or swirls. Anyways guys, let's get right into it. So we have two bucket method. One's going to be a wash bucket, one's going to be a rinse bucket. Up top, I do have my Big Mouth Max Reef Foam Cannon. The Big Mouth Max Reef Foam Cannon is bigger and better than ever. I mean, it has a big blow bezel, foam adjustment knob, big mouth, quick release fitting like this. You have the perfect foam cannon whenever you're using your pressure washer. I'll remove the foam cannon head, put it off to the side. And then the choice of soap today I'll be using is going to be Hydra Suds. The reason why I want Hydra Suds, Hydra Suds actually has ceramic SiO2 infused in it. It produces tons of suds. Even though it looks liquidy, it produces tons of suds. So all I'll do is add one to two ounces of soap. One, two, put my bottle off to the side. I'll get my big mouth head and reattach it. And then here's the pro tip, never shake your foam cannon. If you do shake your foam cannon and you don't have that much water in it, you're gonna cause foam in here. We want no foam inside the bottle. We want all the foam on the car. So you just wanna stir it. By stirring it, you're going to allow the chemical and the water to mix properly. And like this, you have the perfect soap and perfect mixture. We'll put the bottle off to the front. 
Now we'll get our dirt traps. So our cyclone dirt traps filter while you wash. It has over a hundred cyclone dirt trap cones at the back. So all you need to do whenever you're using it, insert it at an angle, push it all the way down. We always say insert at an angle because like this you cause a permanent seal and it won't be rising back up whenever you're washing your ride. Anyways guys, I'll get my choice of soap. Add one ounce into my wash bucket. Anyways guys, it is time to rinse on the surface of the vehicle because you guys actually come close. I want to show you guys what this car has. It has water spots. It did rain here in California. It is a little bit gloomy, but it did have water spots. Uh, there's glossy plastic that does have tough ground debris. And this is very sensitive, especially on Challengers, Mustangs, Chargers. You guys do have that glossy plastic, especially Infinities on the door panels, on the B pillars. So anyways, guys, it is time to rinse it down just so we can knock off all the loose ground debris. Once we knock down all the loose ground debris, we'll be moving on to the foam cannon method, which is going to be a big mouth maxi foam cannon. Anyways, guys, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Alright guys, so as you guys can see, the Big Mouth Max Squeeze Foam Cannon and our Pro Flow Pressure Washer paired up together, produce tons of suds. So then I'll just put the pressure washer wand off to the side, foam cannon off to the side as well. I'll get my pressure washer tip back onto my Pro Flow, activate my suds. Now that they're activated, I'll get my chenille wash mitt. I'll come back into my wash bucket, sink it, get it all lubricated, and I'll walk over to the surface of the vehicle. And the good thing about this Honda Fit, it's actually short. So you could actually just go straight to the vehicle, start from the top, work in linear motions. By working linear motions, one, you're reducing scratches and swirls, and two, one of my favorite things that you guys never really see is whenever you push down on your washman, you have tons of lubrication up front that's actually all helping you glide across the surface of the vehicle, and this is actually reducing scratches and swirls. After one single pass, I flip my washman over to the other side, and I come back and I do this process around the whole entire car. By doing this process the whole entire car, one, you're protecting your investment, two, you are reducing scratches and swirls, and three, you are avoiding a headache because if you do get scratches and swirls, you're gonna have to bring out a polisher or polish by hand, and that is more tough headaches on you because then you have to polish it, clay bar, and much more. But in this occasion, I am just using Hydra Suds just to bring out a vibrant shine and some type of protection. So Hydra Suds can be sprayed all over your vehicle, your glass, your paint, your plastics like this, you get SIO2. If you want to further your protection even more, that's when you bump it up to Hydro Speed, Hydro Spin, Hydro Slick, Hydro View. We have a full line of Hydro products that is allowing you to ceramic coat your car from wheels to glass to plastics. You think about it, we have it. Anyways, guys, let me finish scrubbing this vehicle. Once I'm done, I'm gonna dry it up with the Woolly Mammoth. Once it's finally dried up, we're gonna do the final finishing touches, which is going to be applying a tire shine to the tires and to the trim. Anyways, guys, let's get right into it. All right guys, so we just finished drying and washing this Honda Fit. And as you guys can see, the shine, the reflection, the dirt, ground and breeze is finally off and the shine is finally there. 
But now for the finishing touches for the cherry on top is going to be adding hyper coat onto the trims and plastic. So G6 hyper coat is a water-based dressing that can be used on the interior, exterior vehicle to rejuvenate plastic. So as you guys can see, this Honda Fit has this raw plastic. We'll give it a couple sprays onto my microfiber applicator. I'll come to this plastic and you guys can see it immediately starts to rejuvenate the plastic. So this is how it looked once it left the showroom. But over time, since we do live in sunny California, it gets eaten away, it starts getting faded, it starts looking dull, and it starts looking neglected. So to protect your plastics from discoloring, from fading, from cracking over the given time, use G6 Hypercoat Dressing. G6 Hypercoat Dressing, like I told you, it's a water-based dressing. It could be on the interior next to your vehicle. So just come back over. I'll leave that 50-50 right there just so we could show you guys the big before and after. And once I'm done with this part of the vehicle, obviously I'll come back and finish it all up. But one, one of my favorite things about G6 Hypercoat, it is dry to a touch. It is not oily, nor will it sling whenever you drive off. So now that I said it won't sling when it drives off, let's move on to the tires. So as you guys can see, I have a separate applicator. The separate applicator is going to be for my tires. Like this, I avoid cross-contamination. So you can spray it directly onto your tire, or two, you could be spraying it directly onto your applicator. What I like to do personally, I like to spray it directly onto my applicator. If I am dealing with nubby tires, off-road tires, big tires, I will spray it directly, then use a brush to work it in. But in this occasion, these tires are small, so I'll just get my G6 Hypercoat, spray some onto my foam applicator, come to this area, and I'll just work it in. So G6 Hypercoat is going to protect the tires from road grime, debris, anything the tire might come into contact with is going to protect it while enhancing shine to the tires. So just by rubbing it on, you guys can see G6 Hypercoat dressing is now on there, it's not oily, it's dry to the touch. So if the owner of this vehicle comes, picks up his Honda Fit, he drives off, it's not going to splatter. But let's just come back over here. Now we're back, right? It's been some type of seconds. As you guys can see, G6 Hypercoat dressing does not wear off. It is dry to a touch. It is not oily. It is perfect for interior and exterior. So let's just finish up this trim. So I'll walk back over to this side and then I'll get my G6 Hypercoat, spray some onto it. I'll come back and you guys can see how easy it is to coat. It's fairly simple, fairly easy to use and doing these little quick touch-ups on your plastic front your entire vehicle, it's going to give it that show factory look. So anyways guys, doing these proper steps around any type of vehicle is going to show you guys how to properly bring back your shine, bring back to its glory. So guys, if you guys like this video today, don't forget to give us a huge thumbs up. If you want to see more content on our YouTube channel, make sure to subscribe, turn post notifications on, because every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday we have brand new videos. And as always, if you guys want to pick up any of these products I use in today's video, from buckets, to foam cannons, to tire shines, and much more, you can find it on our website right now, camerawife.com, or you can stop by our local detail garage. We have over 90 detail garage locations across the globe, including Canada and the UK. As always, I'm Henry, and thank you for sharing your passion for shine with Chemical Guys.